from uh, Civic, CEO and, and co-founder. Uh, tell us what you've been working on. This sounds like really exciting stuff. Hey, John. So, hey, so great. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. So Civic launched with a identity-based app where we could verify your identity in the app and you could use it in multiple places. And that was version one of our product, um, which, you know, it did really well during the ICO days when people were doing ICOs and, and the number one use case was mm -hmm. signing up for an ICO. But obviously the market changed considerably in 2018. Uh, so we went back to the drawing board late 2018 and started saying, how do we build uh, identity in a, at a base protocol layer into the app where you can still have an identity feature, but there's something more to it. And so we've been working on building a, a non-custodial multi-sig wallet where there's no seed phrases, it's got all the security and, and protections that you'd expect from, from a banking type application. So you don't have to carry a little piece of paper with 24 letters on it? No, you don't. And it uses your identity to secure your funds. Okay. And so it's a non-custodial wallet. We don't touch it, we don't hold your funds, we can't, um, uh, you know, we, 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 we're not in the funds flow. And so we give you the keys and the ability to manage your own money, but in a way which is just super simple, super safe and secure. And uh, we're launching that wallet with identity as the base layer for transactions. Okay, can you show us a little bit of the app? So this is the wallet. You have your, your dollars, your Bitcoin, Ethereum, your CVC. And uh, you know, you'll be able to add funds from a bank account, load up the wallet. Again, it's always non-custodial and you can send and receive money. And it has KYC and AML built into it. Mm -hmm. So this is a compliant wallet. This is not like the dark wallets that you have out there. This is for use transferring funds internationally, locally. But the most important feature about this wallet is that it is a non-custodial wallet. And so um, people in the crypto world have been used to the idea of multi-sig, mm -hmm. but the, the real issue with, with a lot of the services today is that the moment a wallet is custodial and that we hold the funds, the, the you're regulations... An you're a money service my, Exactly. In this wallet, we are allowing you to move your money wherever you want and store it however you want. And we use stable coins for the dollar base and Obviously, you can sell your Bitcoins, your Ethereum. And you have banking partners already to get money on. Yep. But are the banking partners upset or concerned that you're dumping it into stable coins or BTC or anything? No, we're allowing you to store your own your own crypto. I mean, this is the, the way it is today, except that we're giving you a wallet to use it. Mm -hmm. And it's tied to your identity. So if you lose your phone, you can restore your wallet. You can restore your, the, you, you, you have the keys. We can, we can restore your, your funds. So you can't really lose the money. And you don't have to remember a seed phrase, which is a big, sure. big issue. Can you show us the uh, how to log in with your face? That was pretty cool. Uh, sure. Let's do. So we use a, a face mask on the on the app. And then basically then it authenticates my app and verifies my ID and I then can add funds from any of my bank accounts. Wow. So, the, so it's literally using your face as the key as opposed to anything else. Exactly. So I don't need to remember any, any passwords, so just basically use my yeah. face. If you use your phone, as long as you can restore your, your backup from iCloud and we can as help. As long as you still have your face. As long as you have your face, you can yeah. unlock it. And, and even if you don't, there are, <laughs> well, there are okay. more advanced restore procedures that you can use. All right, interesting. All right, very cool. Uh, what's, what's the timeline for this? Uh, so the app is launching to our uh, private list, uh, over 100,000 people on it worldwide. Uh, at the end of uh, February, we start rolling out invites okay. more aggressively. And then the, the public launch is going to be late March. Um, I would say, you know, so we're launching in this quarter and we're going to try and get it open to the public as quick as possible. Obviously, with 100,000 people coming in, sure. uh, we expect there's, you know, there'll be some bugs and some issues that we have to resolve. But so we're going to keep it as controlled as possible and because obviously this is your crypto, this is your, you know, your what funds. What kind of fiat off-ramps are you guys expecting? So it depends on which country in the world, uh, but essentially the fiat off-ramps are us working with uh, you know, regulated entities, MSBs, and making sure that the off-ramps that in your particular country are there. We won't have global coverage from day one, but we'll have you know, at least 100, 100 countries or so. So this almost turns any one of these mom and pop sort of MSBs, money service businesses, like your, your money transfer businesses, your check cashing places into a potential endpoint? Uh, potentially, yeah. I mean, they have to do it in their own personal capacity at this point because it's your ID that gets verified. We do yeah. AML, KYC on you as an individual. Um, but you can you know, move money in and out to people. You can send it across the world. Uh, and again, in a, uh, in a non-custodial wallet. So your funds are your funds. Yeah, very cool. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, All right, thanks man.